Uh, this video is going to be so shit. Hey guys, it's Reaper Hunter here. So, yeah, it's uh, been a while, hasn't it? So I've been racking my brain for probably the past two weeks on what the hell I want to do exactly as far as, well, anything these days. I really have nothing to offer to the Warframe community anymore as it is. Like... I think I've just about covered every single little thing that can be covered at this point. And it's kind of gotten to the point where it's like, I really kind of don't want to make Warframe content as consistently as I used to anymore, just because of the fact that I've basically wrecked every little nudge of a content possibility that I can make. I mean, for one thing, I have this reputation among the community as just being this guy who complains about everything. Well, I've run out of stuff to complain about, you know, if, if that is the case. It's like, I don't really have anything left to cover. I've covered the balance of the game. I covered the lack of rewards, the lack of challenge, the lack of content, the lack of insert thing that I've made a video about already. Now, there's certain things that, of course, I can revisit, certain video topics I can probably refresh in, or maybe old videos that I could probably do better. But at the end of it all, it's just like, I just don't really care anymore about what's going on with Warframe. Maybe I shouldn't word them like that. Maybe I should actually say more like, it's that I, I care what's going on with Warframe. I'm looking forward to Railjack and everything, but as the game stands right now, it's like, I have no reason to play it. I have no reason to even record it. I mean, people already clicked off this video just because the unrelated background footage isn't going to be Warframe. And, you know, it's kind of just kind of melting my motivation to make videos for like the past month at this point. See, I really still want to make videos. I want to, I want to do YouTube. Like, that's not anything that's uh, dwindled in a sense. It's just the problem is that Warframe has really turned into such a ball and chain for my channel that it's like, if I try to divulge, I'm basically going to have to start from square one again. And maybe that's the better option. Maybe I should just start from square one again. Maybe not just, you know, dump Warframe completely, but I mean, otherwise it's not really much of another option. I, I, I can intentionally not just dump Warframe, but that doesn't mean that's just going to make Warframe content appear. I mean... You know, I mean, you've, you've all heard this speech before. I'm not going to go too much into detail about it. The main issue with the main issue about making videos for Warframe right now is just the fact that everything has been done. I mean, not just like in game, but out of the game, too. Every type of video has been made. Every type of discussion has been talked or discussed. You have fan arts. You have various discussion topics. The Reddit's always on fire. I mean, there's just nothing left that's, like, fresh that I can possibly cover with the game. I mean, even, like, more meme-based channels like Sabuchi are basically trying to branch out because they just got nothing else to do with Warframe at this point. We had the 100 form of meme going on with Fritalius, but now he got redeployed, so that's basically over. Not to mention that meme's basically done, its chapter's gone and over. The Hunter Forma thing was fun because it was just a fun thing to do on the side while we're waiting for content. And that's kind of just what the game is nowadays. It's just waiting for something to do. See, when I look at my channel, I see the 21,000 subscribers I have. And that is an amazing accomplishment. I know some people look at that and say, oh, you're just a tiny channel. You know, there's hundreds of channels that have millions of subscribers. Well, you know, that's an accomplishment for me because I still... Up to this point, I've been doing mostly everything by myself. I've, at most, just contacted a few artists and artists and digital artists and such to help make my channel look better because I don't have the drawing or artistic skills to do anything like that. But as far as video making, writing, scripting, editing, all that's been me, and I got 20k subs out of it. But the problem is, when I look at those 20k subs, I don't really feel any pride or accomplishment out of it anymore. Mostly because I look at those sub count and I just kind of think, wow, that's a lot of subscribers that don't really care about whatever I'm making. They just want to see my thoughts on insert Warframe topic. 
and it's really uh it's really demotivating basically i have 21000 subs and and every every non warframe video i post gets about maybe 3000 on a good day that's like 20 25 20 17% of my sub count and what that basically tells me is that those 20, out of those 21,000 subscribers I have on my channel, only about, well not only, about 17,000 of them are not really subscribed to me. And it's really hard to word this without sounding like really narcissistic, but it's like, yeah, it's like I, I, I made my channel to build my audience. And I can't really build my audience if it's just a... Uh, just basically constantly plucking out of the Warframe audience. If you, I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what I came up with. So, what's going on? What's, what are we going to do about it? What's happening? What's the plan? Well, if I knew that, I probably have already made a video about it. Most of what you guys tell me from various uh, feedback requests I make is to do what I want and make what makes do make what makes me happy. You know, the usual shtick that you hear about that kind of thing. And, you know, I would love to. I would love to make videos about just about literally anything else at this point. And my strong suit that I do enjoy is basically critical analysis. I like reviewing things. I like reviewing movies. I like reviewing animes. I like reviewing games, especially because games are my passion. And I just want to do that because that's something I like doing. I like, I like, uh, I like giving out my opinions and seeing who agrees and disagrees with it. It's a cool, like, thing you can do when you're in my shoes. I mean, I have various thoughts on games like Borderlands 2, now that the new DLC is coming out, leading to Borderlands 3. Sekiro, that's a game that got really got interesting for me as far as a uh, critical analysis goes. Destiny 2 is going free-to-play soon, and I would probably pick it up if I could afford it. You know, I have, I've been playing Final Fantasy... 14 for like the past two weeks and hell I, I really want to do a review on that there's a lot of things i can and want to do it's just the issue is will it be worth the effort well like that's kind of what it always boils down to it will it be remotely worth it and at this point it's kind of just the we're kind of at a make it or break it stance as it is now somewhere in the title or the thumbnail i put meet me in the middle and that's just because I kind of you guys tell me to do what I want to make what I want and the channel will go from there well if I do that I hope you all realize that we're be like I said earlier we're basically going to be starting from scratch and starting from scratch implicates that we're basically going to be lowering our average views basically down to like 2,000 3,000 per video Basically, I have to build a whole new audience, essentially. And it, when that happens, I'm basically going to lose all my revenue from YouTube because I won't be making enough views to get paid. And if that goes on for too long, well, I'm just going to say, you know, I'm gonna throw up my hands in the air and defeat and just say, screw it. I have to move on to something else because I can't live off a check of a couple 20s every month, you know. So for the first time in two years, I'm going to really kind of pull attention to the Patreon. And I know even more of you just clicked off now just from saying that. <laughs> but the fact is, um, if Patreon is able to make up for the inevitable loss from YouTube's point of view, then that will cover, like, that will make it worth it then. I have a goal on Patreon, and that's 250 if I can make at least 250 a month, then we're already doing infinitely better than we've been doing on YouTube for like the past six months. And that's kind of what I mean by meet me in the middle. Out of the 21,000 potential people watching this, I know there's going to be at least 2,000 that will watch it. And maybe at least 200 people who would at least be willing to try. Again, I don't know. I don't really know how to word this. I know it. I know it sounds like I'm just begging for money, and you know what? Like, well, I won't go be around the bush. I pretty much am. 
That's uh, welcome to YouTube. That's how YouTubers make their living. They basically have to either beg for money or beg for someone to look at the Patreon or beg YouTube to put their damn videos in the recommended aisle. But uh, that third option ain't happening anytime soon. So, yeah, there's the sellout Patreon plug there. As far as what's going on, like I said earlier, I'm not just going to cut Warframe out of the channel completely. But at the same time, I got nothing else. I, I will make other videos. Like, it's kind of another thing. If the Patreon can go well, I can afford other games that I can play and review. I.e. Destiny, uh, Borderlands when it comes, Borderlands 3 when it comes out, Cyberpunk when it comes out. Those are all games I would love to review when they come out. And if the Patreon can cover those games in at least uh, half an electric bill at most, then we'd be okay. We can we can at least start fresh from there. So, yeah, that's kind of the uh, where we're at right now. I know I don't sound like... I'm, I'm sure a lot of you clicked out because you hate probably hearing me like this, like just like so unenergized or whatever the word is, but that's just kind of the state I've been the past two weeks. I've just been sitting from my computer getting fat, just, you know, trying to break my finger to press the record button to do something. And I just, I've had no drive, I guess, for the past two weeks. I'm not going to throw out the, I'm not going to throw out the depression card or anxiety card. It's not that serious. It's just serious lack of motivation essentially towards this because I really really want this to work but I can't do that without something to work with but um yeah that's basically where we're at right now I'm pretty sure I repeated myself like 26 times so editing this is going to be fun if I edit it at all um yeah that's basically it so, let me know what you all think down below if I should really try for this or just throw in the towel, go work at Denny's and kill myself, I guess. I'm the Reaper Hunter. I'll talk to you all later.